Uh, uh, hello, I will be pretty short uh, uh, before I pass to Renato, but uh, test trigger allows you to uh, uh, test uh, your two-factor authentication login in particular or login with Gmail, for example. And we have several ways how we can uh, uh, use two-factor authentication. We can authenticate with email, text messages, or Google Authenticator. And for that, uh, Renato is about to show you a specific demo, how exactly you will you can use Google Authenticator uh, to log in in Test Trigger in your test. On that, I will pass it to Renato. Renato, please. Hello, everybody. I will share my screen to show the picture. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Well, uh, I create a testing uh, Gmail account just to show what you need to do uh, to, to enable this command to generate the code of two steps verification in Gmail. Uh, so I have here, uh, a uh, uh, Gmail account, just uh, call it as testing GL to f has nothing. And in test rigor, I have a test case which uh, makes the login in this account, uh, entering the email, the password, and finally generating the, the pin with Google Authenticator. Okay. But uh, for it uh, for it works, we will need the carry code when we enable the two factors uh, authentication. Uh, it generates a carry code, and we need this uh, this image to use this comment and generate right the code. So here in the Gmail, in the in the new account, you can manage your Google account, come here in secure it. Here we have signing into Google. And here you, we can enable the two-step verification. So at first we need to uh, make a validation with your cell phone. So uh, normally it requires the password. Just one minute. So uh, it will ask your cell phone number. I put mine here and ask to receive a text message. So it will send a, a text with a quote to my cell phone. See it. Okay, uh, turn on. Okay, at this moment, we uh, enable the two step verification in the Gmail account. And now we can select the ways uh, of we want to generate the code. We can use backups, Google prompts, authenticator apps, security keys. But for our case, uh, we use the authenticator app. In, inside the, the test, in test rigor, we generate the code as authenticator app. So we go here to add setup authenticator. And that's the carry code, which I mentioned before, that we need to, to save. They save as an image here. Save as air code. And uh, to finish the setup here, you will need to download the app, the authenticator app, and scan this carry code with, with that just to, uh, to finish the setup. I will use here my cell phone.
It's pretty simple. You just need to add a new account in the application. I can show here. I don't know. Yeah, no, you can see. But uh, the Google Authenticator app, you just need to add new uh, account and read the carry code. When you read the carry code, it will generate a code just to validate the configuration. Verify. And uh, that's it. Now the Gmail account is configured to use the two steps validation. And we can uh, sign out here just to show signing again. Next, it will ask the password. And the Google Authenticator code. Okay. Uh, now, uh, as I'm doing it manually, I will go to the app again and, and get the code to log in, right? But um, the question here, the, the, the great thing here is that we don't need the app to do it in the test rigor because we created this custom command, sorry, um, here. So uh, with this code generating with Google Authenticator, we simulate the, the, the app reading the carry code. Let me show you how to, to configure it. Here in test data, you can upload the carry code. I can uh, remove and add another. Upload a file, um, carry code. And uh, with that, we can we can make the this comment like here I I create an example of login so uh, you are uh, get put in the email the password now uh, generate the code and then it's logged in the account just like I did manually before uh, that's it. Uh, there's any questions? Uh, I was too fast. Uh, I don't see the. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Can you can you please rerun the test again to show how it does it work? Sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, I created a, an article in our website uh, with these steps that I made. And here we have uh, all the comments that can be used. Generate pin with Google Authenticator, generate Google Authenticator code, generate Google code. You can use all of these uh, comments. It will get the same result. Yeah. Yeah. So we have uh, now both article on uh, our website describing how to do that. We will soon link it in uh, on uh, integrations uh, page so it is easier to find. Uh, and uh, we also have a video on YouTube if you search uh, with test trigger login with Gmail, uh, you will find how to use 
uh, Google Authenticator based login into Gmail uh, uh, with test trigger. So basically it is a consistent way for you to be able to test your uh, login if you have a function such as login with Gmail into your application and you need to make sure that it is actually functioning. Uh, this will give you a consistent way to be able to uh, login into Gmail and make sure that your functionality functioned as you would expect. Okay, so last call for questions. We're not seeing any, but um, our session next in two weeks will be how to validate videos and use simple template language. So, and the recordings of these are all found on um, testrigger.com backslash events page. So anything else? We'll see you in two weeks then. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone.